Welcome to the Cardiac Emma Learner Series, a unique video tutorial program under the aegis of Indian Association of Cardiac Imaging. This program is focused on beginners and intermediate images with learning happening through short sessions and case-based discussions. We are grateful to experts from different parts of India who have helped us in putting this program together. Please do feel free to give us your feedback so we can continually improve such training opportunities. This session is being brought by Dr. Bhavna Nagbhushna Reddy, who is a consultant radiologist working in Sri Satyasai Institute of Higher Medical Sciences, Bangalore. Her areas of expertise include adult cardiac MR and adult and congenital cardiac CT. She finished her fellowship training in cardiac imaging in Satyasai Institute and has 15 publications and four book chapters under her belt. She has received multiple awards in RSNA and ESR, including the RSNA Travel Guide. She is part of the Satyasai Conference Organizing Team and is a former program director and part of the DNB teaching program. She is an executive committee member of the Indian Association of Cardiac Imaging. Functional assessment of cardiac MR studies is an important component of the analysis. Multiple softwares are available, which are often very expensive and not easily accessible. In this session, Dr. Bhavna will be concentrating on one of the freewares where you do not have to pay anything to assess LV and RV function and volumetry. Please note this is just a demonstration of one such product and there may be many other products available in the market to do the same job. Hello everyone, I will be demonstrating how to perform LV and RV volumetry. CMR provides a wealth of information about quantitative evaluation of both LV and RV. Not all of us may have access to this. If you have Mac, I would suggest a simple way of doing this. Download and install Horos, which is a free open source medical image viewer. Download the latest version, that is Horos 3.3.6. Next thing that you would need to do is to download an open source plugin called MR Conrad MR Heart. The details of installing will be available when you type and go to this link. Once you have gone to this link, you can download it. You'll need to unzip it and open with Horos and then restart. So then you will be able to use it. Before I move on, I need to acknowledge Conrad and team involved in MR Heart. I would also like to thank my IACI friends and colleagues for introducing me to this and Dr. Vishnu for helping me understand this. I have found it very useful. First step. To perform LV volumetry is to select the appropriate short axis cines. To do this, load all short axis cine on one side and four chamber cine on the other side. I am trying to select the most basal short axis cine with left ventricle. As you can see, I am at the most basal short axis cine. This slice on four chamber is passing through the left atrium. It is not passing through the left ventricle. On short axis, you can see that the wall is very thin. Hence, this is left atrium and not left ventricle. So, I will exclude this basal short axis and move apically to the next basal short axis. On the next basal short axis, you can clearly see the LV myocardium. And hence, this is left ventricle and this will be included in the LV volumetry. This will be our first basal short axis for LV volumetry. Now move apically and look at all the other cine images make sure they are of good quality by now you would have made out this is a case of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with rv apex involvement the next critical step is to know which apical short axis to include for volumetry so in the apical short axis myocardium is seen so i will include this for my analysis in the next basal short axis myocardium is not seen and hence this cine short axis will be excluded. So now I know all the cines required for LV volumetry. 
RV volumetry is different from LV volumetry in that I will be including RVOT as well. I am in the basal most short axis CNA. These are the pulmonary valves. This is the trabeculated RV myocardium. So we are in the right ventricle and hence this short axis will be included in RV volumetry. So here this basal short axis includes RV and RVOT as suggested by the CNA slice position in the fourth chamber CNA and RVOT CNA. Once we have selected the appropriate basal short axis, we can move to the next short axis. So important here is to also have the RVOT CNA for comparison. Now look at the rest of the short axis CNA just as we did for LV volumetry. So now in the next short axis CNA, the entire area is made up of RV so that will be included. It is important to remember that the most basal and most apical CNA for LV and RV volumetry need not be the same and this exercise is important to perform. Now we have identified the short axis CNA for LV and RV volumetry. Select all these short axis CNA in the panel. Go to plugin option in the database. Select database and then select option MR hard. Pop up will appear. Click OK. This will take you to the plugin. A chart will be seen. Move the chart to your right hand side so that it doesn't obscure the RV and LV. This chart shows the different options of contours that can be drawn named as LV epi, LV endo, RV epi and RV endo. By drawing which we can obtain end diastolic volume, end systolic volume, stroke volume, ejection fraction and mass. All the short axes that have selected for volumetry will be highlighted. The most critical step is to identify the end diastole and end systole. Move your cursor to identify this. For this study, end diastole is at 1 and end systole is at 10. Move your cursor to the end systole. Keep your cursor either at end systole or end diastole and do not move it until you finish drawing contours. Now I am at the end diastole. Select any ROI tool to draw the contours. Most useful tool is the closed polygon. Also mentioned in the plugin web website. I have selected closed polygon. First I will start drawing contour of LV epicardium. I am at the most basal short axis in end diastole. Once you finish drawing the contour, go to the chart and select LV epicardium. This contour changes the color to green. Now start drawing contour for LV endocardium. Once you have drawn the contour for LV endocardium, select LV endo on the chart and the color would change to red. So move to the next basal short axis. Repeat the same steps. Now I have started drawing contours for LV epicardium, but by mistake I have excluded part of hypertrophic myocardium along the septal side. So you can nudge it, or if it becomes too messy, you can delete the contour. So I am drawing the LV epicardial and endocardial contour similarly. I have excluded papillary muscles for LV mass calculation. You can include it if you want. As you can see, it is very easy to draw the contours and also very easy to nudge and change the contours. Similarly, draw contours for rest of the images. So once you've drawn contours for uh, end diastole, move the cursor to end systole, which is at the image 10. 
and similarly draw contours for LV epicardium and LV endocardium. So here you can see I have drawn the LV epicardial and endocardial contours which are in green and red respectively. Once you are satisfied that the contours are correct, the colors for LV epicardium and LV endocardium are appropriate. Click calculate on the chart. Ejection fraction is 61%, mass is 152 grams. So now we move to drawing contours for RV. Again, here I am at the end diastole. Similarly, here also you can you have to select end diastole and end systole. In this case, end diastole and end systole are at 1 and 10 images respectively. I have drawn a contour including the RVOT here and the right ventricle. I will only be drawing the RV endocardial contours in the interest of time. Most of the time this is sufficient as we are interested in ejection fraction and stroke volume of RV. Though there is some RV hypertrophy, this will not make much of a difference. Now I am drawing RV endocardial contours in all the other short axis cine. It appears in different colors. Once you have drawn the contours, you need to select RV endo in the chart and it will turn the contour to the color blue. Make sure to exclude RV hypertrophied myocardium as much as possible. I am at my most apical cine images. I am drawing my contours in end diastole. So now move to end systole and similarly draw contours in end systole as well. Try to exclude the hypertrophic myocardium. As you can see, it's very easy to nudge and draw the contour. Similarly, once you have drawn the contour, you have to go back to the chart and click on the RV endo. I have included the RVOT. So once you finish drawing all the contours, just check once that you are satisfied with the contours. And once you are happy, click calculate on the chart. Here you can see RV ejection fraction is around 50. The stroke volume is 60. Thank you. I hope you find this useful and please give feedback.